<laughs> All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do this. This is a new segment at Gusto. This is called Employee Horror Stories. My name is Noah Warder. I'm the head of people over here at Gusto, and I want to hear your horror stories, the things that you put up with every day at work that you really shouldn't have to. And our content team wants to hear this because we want to talk about how to make culture better in all types of places of work. So let us know what you're experiencing, and I guarantee we'll have some suggestions to make it better. And I'm not saying that you, the person who's giving me your horror stories, will have to make it better, but maybe you can slip this over to your HR team or your manager. Let's unpack, unpack some workplace horror stories and see what we can learn from them. All right, our topic today is uh, what did you get for staying 10 years at your job? And this question was originally posted on Reddit from user waiting for donut and they answered their own question. I was one of the OGs and joined two years after the company was established. Only three people made it to 10 years in a company of about 70. All I got for my years of loyalty was a pen below market salary and a simple thanks. Safe to say I won't be staying for much longer. 10 years at a company. If you joined at two years, there's a lot that you're doing. You're probably putting in extra hours. You're solving innovative problems. You're you're building the company like as much as any founder or executive is. If you're joining at that early in the company, you're building it alongside of them. And then after 10 years, all you get is a pen. Like that's that shows that the company doesn't care about you and doesn't reward any sort of loyalty. And so if you want to ensure that those long term employees continue at your organization, you really got to show it. Put in the simple milestones program, have rewards go out every year or every two years or every five years, but make it something meaningful and it should grow the longer somebody's with your organization. All right, let's jump into number two. Actor Dan responded with an acrylic plaque and a Bose Soundwave Mini I picked out from the gratuity store at 10 years. I wonder how many points that cost. For 15 years, they'd quit giving out the acrylic plaque, too bad, and when I cashed in my points at the gratuity store for a ring doorbell and a pair of cameras, they took the state tax for them out of my next paycheck. Ouch. And Asheron continues to go on, never be loyal to a corporation. The only reason I'm still here is I leverage some unique skills into a pretty good independent contributor position and get paid. But I don't love them, and they don't love me. And no one's saying that companies have to love their employees or employees have to love their company, but there does need to be a reciprocation. The company needs to show appreciation and reward loyalty, and, and then employees will stay a little bit longer and give a little bit more. If you're one of those companies that are giving acrylic plaques for 15 years of loyalty or 10 years of loyalty, I think you can do a bit better. Be a little bit more creative. No one needs multiple acrylic plaques like that. That goes into a closet that gets lost pretty quickly. It might feel good in the moment and then it's gone or it might not feel good in the moment at all. It's like those T-shirts that your friends or your family buy you when they go visiting places. My parents went to Las Vegas and all I got was this T-shirt. Kind of the same thing. <laughs> I've been at this company for 15 years and all I got was this acrylic plaque. Very simply put in a milestones program where every year, every two years, every five years, you're rewarding that loyalty with tangible gifts that could be cash, that could be gift cards, that could be paid time off, that could be access to more learning and development. It really doesn't have to be super crazy, innovative, outside the box thinking. It just has to be something tangible that people care about. All right, let's go to our third post and our last post of this. Christinator9393 answered, I think I got $35 on my company card for 10 years. It can only be used here in a vending machine or in their store. I only stay in the job because it's too easy. I could make more, but my work-life balance wouldn't be so fantastic. <laughs> so again, $35 for 10 years, and you can only use it in vending machines or the company swag store. That doesn't scream I appreciate your 10 years of loyalty to this company. <sighs> again, it's, it's almost insulting. Make sure that you are giving rewards that are comparable to the tenure of your employees. Even if this person is, is like a frontliner, they're doing basic work. If they've been there for a long time, the amount of institutional knowledge that they have, 10 years is a long time in this day and age. Their institutional knowledge of how that company works and how things run and the unspoken rules and culture is invaluable. It's worth a hell of a lot more than $35 on a company card. So 
please comment below on how you think you can make it better or share your own horror stories. I really want to hear them. I love learning about what other people are facing in their workplaces and milestone program, not a hard thing to do. There's lots of tools out there that can automate it. Gusto is one of them. We're not the only one, but we are one of them and it's free to try if you want to try it. And until next time, keep working, keep your head down and hopefully someone saying thank you and showing that thanks every day of the week.